Hey guys, Hackexploit here, back again with another video and apologize for the lack of uploads as I mentioned in the previous video, I have started working on new series for the channels and a new direction for the channel. We will be moving on to a little bit more of an advanced uh, path now. So welcome to the first of the new series, which is going to be kind of a short series, but a very, very helpful series. And the reason I created it will be apparent very, very soon when I explain that. Uh, in this series, we're going to be looking at OSINT or Open Source Intelligence Gathering with Recon NG. So you might be asking yourself, well, why exactly are you making this series? Well, uh, a lot of people or a lot of business owners in particular have contacted me, you know, on YouTube and on my emails, you know, in regards to open source in intelligence that is publicly available, as I'm sure you already know what OSINT is. But if you didn't, there you go. And uh, their concerns were the weakest link uh, for an organization, which is human beings, not uh, the actual systems. As you know, systems can be easily patched and protected by seasoned uh, penetration testers and by different companies, as you'd already know, you know, and that is a different tangent on its own. But when it comes down to the weakest link, which as I've, as I've mentioned is human beings and more specifically employees in a company. Uh, finding these data leaks or information that could uh, could be very valuable to black hats, you know, data like, uh, for example, emails, uh, email addresses, which can then be used for social engineering attacks, as we've seen this multiple times, uh, you know, with huge companies like Sony, whose emails have been leaked. And from then uh, that stemmed on to social engineering attacks being performed. And, you know, a certain amount of access was gained to the company network, uh, you know, so on and so forth. Looking at these different attack vectors is very, very important. And it's also good to understand that this is probably right now the most valuable, the most valuable data, as you have probably heard in the news this year with the releak or with the release of leaked data uh, from Cambridge Analytica you can see that uh, it is personal information that is publicly available that is really really uh, gold right now for uh, hackers and as I said with information gathering it's the, the most important link all right so we are going to be using recon ng now recon ng is a framework that uh, in hindsight will automate the process of gathering such information and will present it or will allow you to present this information in a fantastic format. Now, what do I, what do I mean by this? Uh, as I said, this information is publicly available and uh, finding it is the best way of knowing where it's coming from, which you can then stop. So, for example, if I found out that my employees were leaking company information on their social net networks or they were taking pictures of, you know, the operating systems they're using, you know, not knowingly uh, causing harm, but you want to know what exactly is happening and how you can stop it. That would be how you'd find it. Now, the problem with OSINT or open source intelligence is it is extremely vast and there are tons of sources uh, uh, you know at which black hat hackers can can use for this type of gathering for this type of information gathering so that's why we turn to recon ng which is one of the best frameworks for osint gathering uh, when it comes down to uh, you know automation uh, the speed of the scans and obviously uh, the presentation of the information that was gathered which is very very important in an enterprise uh, situation or in an enterprise environment. That being said, in this series, I'll be showing you uh, probably the most important things in regards to uh, to Recon NG. I'll be showing you how to get it installed. I'll be showing you the commands, getting used to the interface, which is what many people have a problem with, uh, selecting your workspaces, uh, separating your workspaces for different projects, scanning targets, selecting targets, and finally generating reports as to what information you are able to gather. In this video, I've already explained to you what Recon NG is and its importance. We're going to be looking at the installation process and I'll uh, delve uh, deeper into that in a few seconds. So, as I said, uh, looking at the installation, it currently only works on Linux. And the other thing is it's open source. It's completely free to download. And uh, when it comes down to the operating system that it does work on, it works only on Linux. And, you know, when it comes down to Windows, you can choose to run it on a virtual machine through a Linux distribution. Or you can, uh, if you're running Mac, you can use the Docker uh, platform uh, to uh, to use um, to use this. 
And that being said, the software prerequisites are going to be uh, only one uh, as the most important. Of course, it has its own requirements or dependencies that need to be installed. That's if you're running a non-penetration testing distribution, for example, uh, Ubuntu or Linux Mint, you know, something to that extent. Um, so you will require Python 2 and the thing about uh, Recon NG as of right now is it requires and it only supports Python 2. So if you're running Python 3 and you say I don't need Python 2, incorrect, you need to install Python 2, it is uh, required. So I'm guessing that you are already going to be running this on a penetration testing distribution. But if you are running Ubuntu or another distribution that does not have it installed, uh, I will be posting this link in the description. It is the Bitbucket link for Recon NG. And what you can do is you can just clone this repository if you wanted to do that. Okay, so by default, you can also use SSH if you want, but you can copy this and um, you can clone it wherever you want. And the installation is really very simple. Now, um, I'm going to launch it on my penetration testing distribution right here. So I've opened up my terminal and uh, to get it started, all you can type in is recon ng. All right. And uh, there we are. It's going to give you these errors if you start it for the first time that you haven't added any APIs. Do not worry about this and do not be concerned as to what it's asking you for. We'll be getting to all of that very, very soon. Now, uh, you can see we are in the interface now and it is working as a framework. As you can see, it offers a fantastic uh, range of options when it comes down to, you know, selecting your different targets, etc., etc. And now the most important thing is going through the commands. Now, again, this video is a short introduction to what we're going to be looking at and how to get it set up, how to get it started. In the next video, we're going to be looking at the commands and an overview of the interface and the framework to get you up to scratch with how to navigate around it and how to start selecting uh, the items that you want and, you know, selecting the APIs, all that good stuff. That being said, that's going to be it for this video. Just a short introduction, getting you guys up to up to scratch or up to date with what exactly is going to go on in this series. Again, the other series will continue simultaneously, the exploit development series, etc. all that good stuff. And now videos will be consistent. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this video, guys. If you found value in this video, please leave a like down below. If you have any questions or suggestions, let me know in the comment section or on my social networks, and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Peace.